How we doing? I uh, have been having problems with my camper. The uh, power tongue jack on this thing only works when it's plugged into shore power. I had sent it off uh, to have some warranty work done on it, and they would taken care of a lot of the issues that I had, but this tongue jack res remains unfixed. Um, they had claimed there was a poor ground with it and uh, said they were, they were satisfied with the repair. And unfortunately, since I've gotten it back, it either has to be plugged into shore power or that tongue jack still does not work. So I ended up doing my own diagnostics on it and uh, I figured I'd share with you guys what I had found. So to start, we'll see the jack is not working. So what we need to do is follow the KISS method, which is keep it simple, stupid. And so I've got my uh, rusty, trusty little multimeter here. You uh, don't have to have the fancy one. You don't even have to one that tells you ouch instead of out of limits. <laughs> but I like mine. So what we need to do is we'll uh, set it on direct current, direct voltage. And we'll take our ground, stick over here on the battery. Then for our uh, main reference voltage, we'll hit the battery and see what it says. We have 12.86 volts. I am extremely happy with that. That tells me the battery is not bad or junk. So if we follow the battery cable down initially, we've got these auto resetting circuit breakers down here. So I'm gonna pop the cover off this first one. And I'm going to come here and test the other end of this lead. And it tells me it's 12.86, which is exactly what we've got going on with the battery. So I'm happy with that. That tells me there's no troubles yet. So I come over here to the other side of this. And it tells me I've got 12.25. Now, for some reason, that's not a crazy voltage drop. And earlier, whenever I tested this, it actually was more than one volt less. I don't know why it's uh, creeping up and, and reading higher now than what it was, because we're not plugged into shore power. So, but, hit the button again, make sure it's not working. But, with the knowledge of this voltage drop right here, <clears throat> I can kind of cheat and make a jumper. Now with this jumper, it's still gonna have a breaker on it. So I have uh, this 20 amp auto resetting breaker here. I just made a couple little pigtail leads for it. And then uh, I can Stick it down in here in these little alligator clips. Hit the button and it should work. Look at that right there. Um, so as you can see, it's definitely not a ground problem. It's a voltage drop that's going across this auto resetting circuit breaker. So. That means that breaker is bad and will need to be replaced. And when it, once it is replaced, then we'll never have to deal with this stuff. That power tongue jack will work every time we hit the button. Um, a lot of people might be watching this and completely familiar with electrical and know exactly what to do and how to do it. And they may just not even pay no mind to this. But I know there's a lot of people out there who question... Uh, the techniques on how to do it. Don't know where to start. Don't know what's going on and uh, I'm definitely nowhere near going to bash the dealer that this come from or anything like that Because unfortunately I did kind of set them up to fail because whenever I sent it up there it had a junk battery in it um, And also, you know, they may have had a rookie guy on it. It just didn't know so it's it's not a big deal in my opinion. I'll just take care of it and fix it myself. <clears throat> so, but I figured I'd go ahead and kind of show y'all what, uh, how you would kind of diagnose simple electrical stuff. So, 
Until next time around, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe down there in the bottom so we can get this out to